So this the version 13 feature is about resource tables and numbers behind the graphics on the body of the of the plan or on the histogram. So, uh, so I've got a few activities here, and I'm just going to add uh, some resources um, to each activity. So we're going to have a couple of guys on there, uh, one guy on there, and one guy on there. So we've gone over allocated. We get a warning as you can see on screen here, uh, and. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the View tab and there's a new resource usage table. So that produces another panel at the bottom of the screen in the graph area and we can rearrange the order of these. And we have the cost and resource select on the left hand side so we can take one or many of our resources and we can see those values on the body of the screen as a table. So there are quite a lot of settings for this area that is defined in the properties pane. So in the properties pane we can say what sort of information we want to see whether it's uh, a permanent or a consumable or cost allocation, uh, if we want to uh, show it for what's actually been done and what remains to be done or everything we can define certain fields which go in the table on the left hand side so we could add a new field and so we could move that down and what that field is let's say we want to see the effort the amount of man hours uh, that's been expended at that time and below that we've got a grouping and sorting so the path name is the parent of this resource and then the name of this resource so we could uh, do away with the um, path name for example and just say the grouping uh, we can say what it for all of the program or just this view what we're looking at or this branch or select certain areas and we can also have a filter so we've got a lot of control over how much information you're seeing and also what it looks like when we get to different levels of our sorting what font colors to use whether to show this in days weeks months etc and also to show highlight different colors if you're under allocated or over allocated in terms of the amount of resource versus its um, availability. So we can see that information on screen now. We can change the size of these columns uh, on screen, but we can edit these numbers. So this is uh, similar, using a similar functionality to the other cost curve, uh, resource curve of version 13. But we can say, well, we only need six hours on that particular day. Uh, and we could only need four hours on that particular day. So this is where it's now affecting our screen and the color uh, system is being shown differently. So, um, so if we're over allocated, it's red. Uh, if we're allocated the right total number, it's black. If we're under allocated, it's um, blue and we've set those numbers. So this is exactly what you see on screen. You can edit it, it's a very useful report in its own right and we can also export that information and we can print it out so whatever you see on screen is what you're going to get when you come to have it on paper. So the uh, resource usage view uh, is a very a useful extension to PowerProject version 13.